Hey, how are you guys doing today? My name is Kyrie Livingston Coleman, and today I'm going to be proposing to you guys something, an offer that I feel like you guys definitely can't let pass you by. Uh, but today, before I get into what I'm going to be speaking about, I'm going to try to connect your guys' minds uh, to some of the things I'm going to be speaking about. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. How many of you have seen the show Intervention? Okay, for those of you that have not seen the show Intervention, the show Intervention is about families that reach out to a loved one or a family member, someone that's struggling with and has uh, fallen off track of life with an addiction or just any type of addiction and uh, they, they reach out to this person with professional help trying to help them rehabilitate themselves, intervene in their life and uh, help them get back on the right track of life. So there's a special organization, but there's a special organization in the city of Fresno, California that does their own type of intervention, but not only with one person, but amongst the entire city. And that special organization goes by the name of the Pavarello House. Uh, the Pavarello House, I've personally had my own experiences there. I've volunteered and I've helped serve people that are in need there. And it's such a great organization. And um, I know all the good that comes from this organization and the need for it amongst the community. So with that being said, I'm going to ask you guys today to please donate $5,000 to this organization to continue to help the city of Fresno, California and to help, um, help it provide services for those who are in need. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to be getting into a little bit about what the... Pavarello House is and the things that they have to offer for the community and for everyone. Then I'm going to explain to you uh, the vital, the vitalness and the need for it amongst the city of Fresno and why it's such such a backbone for a lot of people, a lot of citizens. Okay, so firstly, the Pavarello House uh, is it's, it's a, um, a shelter, a shelter home, temporary housing services. Uh, they provide that. They provide food for individuals from uh, off the streets or anybody who needs services, who needs a meal. It's about they they uh, provide three meals a day. So that's about twelve thousand. I mean, twelve hundred meals a day that are served every day at specific times. They offer showers. They have uh, clothes giveaways. They do a lot of things amongst the community. But not only with uh, with those things, they provide uh, help for those who are in need of uh, suffering from mental illnesses and are suffering from any type of addiction. They can write referrals to them so they can go receive help. So now that you guys know. A little bit about what the Pavarello House does, I'm going to explain to you guys why it's such a vital part of the Fresno County and Fresno, California community. Okay, well firstly, the unemployment rate in Fresno, California is about 9.7 and the average is about 5%. So 9.7 is pretty high. So with the, uh, the more unemployment that there is, the more chance of someone being homeless there is. So um, an article written in the Fresno Bee, there was an article, it was written, it actually said there's more, more homelessness than ever in Fresno, California. So we have all this homelessness, but a lot of the homeless that live in, in the city of Fresno are located around the downtown area, but the Pavarello House is located directly downtown, so they have access to all the services and all the great things that the Pavarello has to offer. So now that you guys understand a little bit about why it's such a vital thing to have the Pavarello House inside in the city, you guys can see, or I'm, I'm gonna, um, Go get into a little bit of more of the objections that someone may have about why this, why would you want to donate to the the, um, the Pavarello House? Uh, one would say that they have already continued to provide great services already. So why is there a need to donate this much amount of money to this um, foundation or this organization that has already blossomed to help many people and they, they continue to do this every day? But um, what some people don't know is that the Pavarello House is ran off 85% donation by churches, local businesses, and just people from the community who, who donate to, to the organization. So with this, with this donation that I'm asking you to give today, it's going to be a great benefit. It's going to help continue to provide all the great services and all the, the things that the Pavarello House needs to ensure um, the helping and the, the, uh, to benefit those that are in need and who are struggling. Um, and another um, objection that one may have would be, um, isn't, this, isn't this organization just assisting those who choose to live a certain type of lifestyle or who choose to fall to addiction and things like that? No. I, was, I would have to say no because definitely the Pavarello House helps assist people if they want to cooperate because the things that are provided, the great services that are provided with the Pavarello House are ran at specific times. So if, if an individual does not um, cooperate with the certain times uh, and the criteria that is that is set out for getting assistance with the Pavarello House, they won't, they won't be able to benefit from the Pavarello House at all because um, there are certain meal times for a certain time of the day, there are certain early times for showers, and there are certain early times for people who would like to have their laundry 
assisted with them. And those, a lot of those times range from 6.15 6 in the morning to 7.15 in the morning. So these people have to follow direct rules and they have to get their lives together. They have to wake up at times and follow directions. And also for the people who live in the temporary housing, they're assisted with helping get on their feet because they're assisted with helping to find jobs to help better themselves so one day they can own a, a home of their own. So, with all these great things that you guys have learned and you guys cannot understand the vitalness of the Poverello House in the Fresno community, I'm hoping and praying that you guys can donate or think about generously to donate $5,000 to this organization and help them continue all the great services that they have to provide and all the things that they do for the Fresno community 